How to set up motion recording on performance series recorders. First, from any live view, right click and select main menu. Then, navigate to the event settings menu on the third row of options, third icon from the left. The menu should default to the video detection menu, but if it doesn't, select that sub-menu on the left-hand side as shown. Your settings menu should now look similar to what you see here depending on the version of firmware you are on. Next, we need to enable the cameras to allow motion recording to be triggered. Select any channel in the drop-down list at the top and ensure that the enable button is checked to the right. Then, select the region button below the camera drop-down and make sure there is a red box anywhere you want motion to be detected in the frame of view. If you want to exclude any areas from triggering motion, such as a distant road or sidewalk, click in any of the red boxes to clear that box, or click and drag to select several at a time. Then right-click anywhere to back out. Press apply and or save at the bottom of your screen. Repeat this step for any camera which you wish to enable motion for. Now that you have enabled motion on your cameras, you need to tell the NVR when to use the motion triggers. To do that, select the storage menu at the top of your screen, then click schedule at the left of your screen. At the top of this menu, you will see a channel drop down. Select an individual channel to set the schedule for, or click all to select all channels. By default, the NVR is recording continuously. You have a couple of options here. You can choose to record continuously as it has been and mark motion events in the timeline so that you can see when motion is triggered. You can do this by keeping the green regular bar but adding the yellow motion bar for your desired schedule. You can also disable continuous recording and only record on motion events by removing the green bars and only having yellow bars, which signifies motion, or any combination of the two. Once you have made your desired changes, press Save or Apply at the bottom of your screen. By default, the NVR will record 4 seconds prior to a motion trigger, but this can be adjusted at the top of the screen as well. You should now be set up for motion recording. You can test it by right-clicking several times to return to your live view, and then moving around in your camera's view to trigger the event. If successful, you should see a small red icon of either a whoosh symbol or a running man, as well as the green recording icon at the bottom of your view. For more great tips and interactive training, visit HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com. And thank you for choosing Honeywell.